guys thanks for coming in for a haul this is actually a book haul and it's kind of a long one so if you guys are not into books I'm sorry but I went to a thrift store and this is basically what I found I did find one vinyl I'll show you that that's Glen Campbell this is Glen Campbell's Christmas and I thought that was kind of unique and I really do love his sultry voice it's just so beautiful he's one of the original uh, country artist that went mainstream and we all know why because he's fabulous and uh, yeah so I got this one for what was that? they were a dollar I think they were a dollar and the rest is movies and books and I went ahead and picked up some VHS films because we do use a lot of them at school and at the clinics and because we do have some of those um, you know the equipment that's kind of dated and stuff so yeah a lot of VHS um, things and this is Alice in Wonderland and these were only a quarter a piece so I'm also going to try to sell some of these on eBay Madeline let's see what else I got I go into some books this is the American Songbook I'm going to try to put this on Amazon as well this is a whole bunch of patriotic songs not bad all of the paperback type were a dollar and the hardcover was a dollar fifty. So I thought that was a good deal. More VHS. I've got Treasure Island. And then I've got Oh Can't Beat This Sound of Music. And these are just a whole bunch of um, teacher resources that I need. Comprehensive reading and writing assessment. Again, these were all a dollar because they were the paperbacks rather. Were a dollar. This is 126 strategies to build arts, to build language art, abil language arts abilities. And then I this one was really interesting. This one's called Cringe, and it's by um, Sarah Brown. It's a super heavy, glossy book. It is. It consists of teenage poetry and diary excerpts, and just a really array of interesting things. I always find these fascinating and um, but I put it on Amazon as well after I finish with it. So that is that and then I found Twilight, uh, Breaking Dawn. Very nice condition as well so I'm going to try to resell these. Harry Potter, this is the Sorcerer's Stone so this is the original the premiere and then I got Fantasia quarter a piece this was a really good deal I sometimes sell these at my garage sales for a dollar so I think I still have quite a, quite a collection of um, VHS oh a German dictionary I thought that might go well on Amazon and then um, let me get these VHS tapes more VHS Guys, you might want to pour yourself a drink. I poured myself some grape because it's going to be a long haul. Sesame Street. Star Trek. Can't beat Star Trek. And the Titanic. And let me go run over here and grab this other one. I'm back. I can't believe I bought all these books, but uh, I couldn't uh, leave them for the price. Phonemic Awareness. Life Science, these are just a whole bunch of uh, lesson plans and um, exercises there. Uh, why didn't I think of that? Important Reading Comprehension. Uh, multicultural Mini Units. And another Phonemic Awareness. Oh, I like this one. I think this may go on eBay or on um, Amazon. It is People's um, Tribute to Diane. Got some really pretty pictures of Princess Diane here and all the covers that she graced and whatnot. So definitely a collectible pictorial there. Then I got this 501 French verbs. These are really, really sought after for students who are studying foreign languages. And then another Harry Potter. This one is the Goblet on Fire. Goblet of Fire, rather. So I'm going to try to resell that. And then, oh, this one looks really interesting. This one, 
I'll probably keep for myself and maybe sell it later, but it's got, it's called Heartland and it says it's just a collection of the best recipes from the America's Heartland. So and it's got beautiful pictures as well. Very nice and glossy uh, pictures and recipes. Love these. I actually have a friend who says that she, and she's, she says the truth, actually, she speaks the truth. She does not cook. She does not like to cook. Uh, and she's a very busy career woman. But she collects cookbooks because she says that they relax her. And it's like her favorite book to read is a cookbook. But she does not cook. So, that's interesting. All right, this one's called Liberty, the Statue, uh, and the American Dream. So this one has... Uh, Quite a bit of history, historical pictures, Ellis Island, uh, the construction and the gifting of the, of the statue. And then we've got the Life Millennium, uh, another little uh, what do you call it? compilation of Life magazines, most famous photographs and stories. And books, I have one, um, Christmas in America, A Day in the Life of the America. This one is Baseball in America. Huge, huge coffee table book. Love those. All right, and then I got, did I get some more movies? Oh, I think that's it. I think I showed you everything, guys. All right, guys, I thought I was done, but I had more. I have The Secret Garden. And this is a really interesting book that I think would be interesting. It's called The Lore of the Unicorn. Okay. I would have thought this was a pretty interesting read. It talks about everything, but everything from uh, uh, old wives' tales or whatnot, folklore about, about unicorns to their popularity today and so forth. So, uh, yeah, I thought it was a pretty interesting book. I bought it for my daughter. Got to get that summer reading, hopefully, in order. Another copy of Fantasia. Got two copies. Because I need a quarter, remember? And then uh, Framing Literacy. This is Teaching, teaching K-8 through eight Classrooms. And then Math, math Practice, 3rd to 4th grade. A poem in my pocket, more teacher resource books, uh, learning to study, and then some really nice coffee table books. This one is World Geography, and these remember were only $1.50, and uh, really, really nice and heavy books for all of this. So let's see if I can sell this one. It's the... Um, we Americans, and it's really, really a nice book. Lots of nice pictures, lots of historical pictures, illustrations, everything from Norman Rockwell to, you know, the first um, immigrants of Ellis Island and women's suffrage. It's all in there, and it's got great pictures, and it's a very, very nice and heavy book. And guys, that appears to be it as far as the books. So thanks so much for joining me for this haul. I hope I didn't bore you. Um, I love books. I buy them, even though I don't have time to read them all. But uh, I love to buy them. I love to hold them. I love to sell them. And I don't know about you guys, but tell me this. Do you find it a little bit of an uh, invasion of privacy when people look through your books? I have a huge... I have bookshelves everywhere, upstairs, downstairs, everywhere. And I used to hate it when people would browse through my books. I don't know why. What do you think? Thanks so much for coming in for this haul. Come back again for another one soon. Let me know if you like this kind of a haul. Um, I hope I didn't bore you, and I hope you liked it. And uh, come back again. Bye.